Each year, cybercrime costs our nation billions of dollars, causes untold damage, and threatens national security. The key to protecting the public against such threats begins with Internet Service Providers ISPs, making annual cyber awareness training a prerequisite for accessing the Internet. Many people believe that cyber criminals behave like real-world criminals. They assume they seek out the vulnerable, i.e., the young, elderly, recently bereaved, mentally unhealthy, illiterate, disabled, or debt-ridden. Although cybercrime victims may fall into these categories, it is not the circumstance that makes the person vulnerable. It is the individual's ignorance that makes him or her a prime target for cyber criminals. Installing and configuring the latest firewall, antivirus software, web browser, and operating system will not overcome individual ignorance. To fill the gap, ISPs may need to start offering cyber awareness training on an annual basis. Cyber awareness training provides an overview of current cybersecurity threats and best practices to keep information and information systems secure. Most importantly, trainees learn best practices for protecting their personally identifiable information PII. That is, any piece of information or data that can help to confirm who you are or how to find you. Other topics covered include why cybersecurity is important, different types of information and how to protect them, forms and methods of cyber attack, technologies that are particularly vulnerable to attacks. How do we know cyber awareness training reduces cybercrime? Thousands of government agencies and businesses globally have implemented the training. The combination of cyber-aware employees and IT support is successfully used to thwart or quickly resolve cyber attacks. The risk of not acting may be far greater than the risk of acting. By not providing continuous cyber awareness training, we may be providing cyber criminals a guaranteed number of victims annually. On the other hand, implementing the training may cause some people to use the internet less. Is that a bad thing? What do you think?